Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We are doing a first impression and little wear test on the new Pat McGrath foundation. So this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation and this really piqued my interest because I've heard lots of good things about it. But I really wanted to know, is it worth the $68 price tag? For foundation, that's pretty expensive. That's not cheap. So I figured that I would sit down and film this for you guys. We will apply it here on camera, see how it applies and blends with our other products. And then I will do a few check-ins throughout the day so you guys can see how it wears, if it breaks up, if it fades, if it lasts a really long time. So if you guys are interested in a little bit more on this new Pat McGrath foundation, then let's get right into it. So this is what the foundation looks like and this box packaging is really, really cool. So the foundation is kind of like sitting in there like that. I think it's really awesome. Also, I don't really want to talk about my janky self tan. I tried out a new self tanner with no like, what is it called? Like the color, what is it called? You can see where you put it, the color, color guard. <laughs> I tried a new uh, found it. Oh my god! I tried a new self tanner out with no color guard, and <laughs> so we're just gonna ignore that. Um, so basically, this is what it looks like when you pull it out. It's super, super luxurious. Ah, oh, this packaging is nice. I do love Pat McGrath packaging. I don't have a ton of stuff from her. I do have one of her Mothership eyeshadow palettes, but other than that. I think that's pretty much everything. Um, so this says it's a buildable, perfecting coverage, weightless texture, satin finish, runway tested, mother approved. So it's a universal formula for all skin types. It's oil free, paraben free, and fragrance free. Wow, good for all skin types. That's interesting. So for those of you who don't know, I'm kind of a Normal to combo skin type. I usually go for more mattifying products though because I am combo. I lean more oily than dry. So I usually reach for more matte products and I love a full coverage foundation. Like that's usually my go-to. Um, like Too Faced Born This Way is kind of like as like natural I'll go. Um, so I got mine in the shade medium 15 and I picked this color based on like the Sephora foundation color matching thing that they have. If you don't know, you can go on Sephora and it's called the shade finder. Basically you type in the foundation that you already own and which shade you are and then it will pick out the foundation color in this line or whatever line you're shopping and it will tell you what the closest match is or what the exact match is. So that way, you know, you can pick out a good shade for yourself. That's kind of how I cheat um, when I'm shopping online. So we do have a really nice pump here and we are getting 1.18 fluid ounces. It's a really, really nice glass bottle. I mean, like this is heavy. This feels really, really high quality. I love Pat McGrath. I think she's super, super cool. I don't have a ton of her products, like I said, so I'm really, really excited to try this one out. So I think for primer today, I'm gonna go with kind of like a more neutral primer, I guess. I don't wanna use anything too mattifying and then I don't wanna use anything too hydrating because it says it has a satin texture. I wanna use something kind of like in the middle, I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna use my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer and I'm just gonna kind of put this in my T-zone. I love this primer. It works with a lot of my matte foundations um, and it works really well with some of my more dewy, even though like I wouldn't call them dewy. They're dewy to me though because I always go so matte. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of put this in my T-zone and just spread it all over my face. And this is just a really nice pore filling primer. I don't have any issues with foundations not lasting or kind of breaking up with this primer. So I feel like it's tried and true. I know it's good. That's kind of the hard thing when you're testing out a new foundation. Primer can obviously affect how it wears and the finish you get and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna quickly check Sephora um, for some directions, whether we're supposed to use this with a brush or a sponge. Some foundations will tell you it's best applied with a sponge or a brush. I just wanna make sure that I'm not screwing this up. Um, my preferred method is a sponge. Sometimes if I'm feeling spicy, I'll go in with a brush, but usually, I will use a beauty blender. Okay, so it says for sheer perfection, use your fingers. We're not, I don't need sheer. Um, it says pump a few weightless drops of foundation onto the back of your hand, dot onto your cheeks, forehead, and nose with fingertips. 
blend from the center of your face and move outward, patting and pressing for a filter blurred effect. Okay, or it tells you you can use it with a brush. Um, use the Sublime Perfection Foundation Brush sold separately. I did not buy that because $68 for foundation is already enough of a splurge. I didn't get the brush or the powder because my wallet can't handle that. Seamlessly diffuse the foundation by using sweeping motions as you blend out, apply product in thin layers and buff to gradually build blur and create luminous medium coverage. Okay, so I'm thinking that by patting you get the highest coverage and it seems that you can use this with a sponge. So I'm just gonna use it with a beauty blender because that's just how I roll. So let's just, oh God, this is like liquid. Can you see? That's a liquidy foundation. Okay, so this is two pumps here. So I'm just gonna kind of, oh, I feel like this color might be really good for me actually. It looks a little bit different in the bottle. So I think this might actually work for me. So I'm just gonna start applying. It smells good. All right, already I'm seeing that this is more of a medium coverage. I don't know if you can tell, but I have some freckles here that are still peeking through and I can see on my nose as well. It's not quite covering everything. Wow, this is two foundation pumps and that's all it really covered. And I feel like I need to go in with more because I still have this whole section here. I feel like my Beauty Blender soaked up so much of the product because it is so liquidy. But because it is so liquidy, I don't wanna go in with a brush. Usually really thin foundations with a brush will be really streaky. I find that I usually only use a brush with thick foundations because I can really buff it in, but a thinner one, but one with a thinner consistency usually gets really streaky and kind of like doesn't look as seamless. I think I need to go in with another pump. All right, this is pump three. I think the color is really good for my self tan. It is pretty yellow though, even though this, this is supposed to be neutral, right? Medium 15. I think this is supposed to be more on the neutral side. I'm not quite sure. So it feels not tacky. I would definitely agree with the satin finish. I don't think it dries like completely matte, but it feels super lightweight. Although I'm having trouble covering my nose a little bit. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of peeking through a little bit on my nose. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is definitely a medium coverage foundation. I would compare the finish um, it's a little bit more matte than like Too Faced Born This Way, but the coverage is like Too Faced Born This Way. And I don't know if you can see, I'm not shiny and I'm not dewy, but I am satin finished. It's not, it's not nearly as matte as I would normally use, but I really like it. This looks nice. I just wish it was a little bit more full coverage. I don't know if you can see here too, I have like a sunspot that I can't get rid of. Um, but it's not really covering it that much. And then like here I have some old scars and then a freckle and some freckles down here that it's not really covering. So it definitely is more of a medium coverage. I could layer some more. I don't know if I should because I don't want it to get like cakey or look bad because I think it looks really pretty. It's just not super full coverage. So I think I might actually leave it. I don't want to apply too much and then it not wear well because then that would just be my fault. Um, I do want to apply a little bit of concealer though and see how that blends into the foundation. So because we are going with a little bit more medium coverage, I'm gonna go in with my Naked Skin and this is just in the shade Medium Light and just apply a little bit of this. And I'll just apply a little bit in the areas that I need some extra coverage. That's nice. <laughs> Dang, you guys, I really like this. This is a really, really beautiful foundation. I hope it wears well because I really, really do like this a lot. I'm a big fan so far. Shit, I was hoping I was gonna hate it and I could return it. <laughs> All right, let's see how powder applies. Now I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass um, Veil Powder. These more like natural medium coverage, like, ooh, 
they're reacting really well with the foundation. I don't know how this foundation would look if I used like a Tarte Shape Tape or something like that. I feel like it would be kind of weird, like too full coverage. And same if I use like the Laura Mercier setting powder, but this like mineral veil powder is just like the perfect natural finish. I'm just gonna set the perimeters of my face too. Can you guys see how good this looks? And it doesn't feel sticky, it feels like it dried down. This feels amazing. It's so lightweight. Oh, I really, really like this so far. I think Alrighty, so I have just finished up my makeup, just something super natural <laughs> as I'm wearing like dramatic lashes. Um, but you guys, I must say that this foundation I am loving so far. Everything applied so beautifully. All of my products blended really, really nicely. Everything just looks so good. I really, oh, I really, really love it. And like I said, I'm so annoyed that I like it because I was hoping I could return this because it is $70 for a bottle of foundation, but this is so good. I really, 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 really do like it. And even though it is medium coverage, I feel like once I have my full face on, like it looks a little bit more full coverage and put together once you have all of your products on and adding the concealer definitely helped. Yeah, so this is what we are working with right now. So the time right now is 2.17. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so you know I love to give y'all a little look-see at what it looks like in the daylight. So this is currently what we are looking like. I look a little bit washed out, um, but it's just really, really bright in this room. Um, so, I mean, it's freaking amazing. <laughs> it's so good. I love it so much, and I hate that I love it. I'm really annoyed that I like it, but, oh, it's so good. It's so pretty. Look at that. Just makes my skin look so perfect and i think the color match is just 10 out of 10 for me um this again is the shade medium 15 and i'm pretty pretty dark self tanned you can't tell because like i said i'm really washed out but i i pray actually i don't pray because i'm gonna want to buy more of these that it doesn't last but i'm really hoping it wears nicely and lasts a really long time because this foundation is stunning. Stunning. Alrighty, so I am, of course the AC just kicked on. So I am back, it's currently 8.17. Um, I'm just like cleaning up the house a little bit and I've been running around doing many things. And this is what we're looking like. I'm a little bit shiny, but I think it still looks pretty good for the most part. I don't think it's breaking up or anything crazy like that. So yeah, um, we are six hours in, five and a half, six-ish hours. Um, and I'm a little dewy. I'm not gonna blot or anything just cause I don't think I need to quite yet. I think it still looks, still looks okay. So I will check in with you guys in another few hours. Alrighty, you guys. So I am back to do my final check-in. It is currently, 9.58, I'm really tired, I need to go to bed, even though it's 10 o'clock, I'm like a grandma, I gotta go to sleep early. Um, so as you can tell, I think, okay, I need to rip these off also because they're like popping off. Um, I think that the foundation wore pretty good considering. I'm a little bit oily, a little bit dewy, um, but I'm really not like a super oily skin type. I'm kind of more like combo to normal. So um, I think maybe I would try this with a mattifying primer. Maybe that's my issue. I need to use a different base. But I think for the most part, it still looks pretty good. I mean, it did wear off on my nose a little bit under here, um, but that's really typical for me because I have like a tick where I like to rub my nose and my foundation, like that's the first place it usually comes off. Um, but I ate, I was outside for a little bit, and I think my face actually still looks pretty good considering I've been wearing this for eight hours. I just, I'm a little bit dewy. I think that's pretty much it for the most part. I mean, 
you can still, I mean, like, my contour is still on. My highlight is still popping. Like, this foundation did a really good job, I think. I think if I were to wear this again, I would probably just blot, like, bring a powder to blot, maybe. Or I really want to test this out with a more mattifying primer, and I think it would definitely hold up a lot better. But for the most part, I would rate this, like, a... 8 out of 10, 8, 8 and a half out of 10. Um, if it stayed matte longer, then this would be a 10 out of 10. Upon first application, this is amazing. It's so, so beautiful. Um, I mean, granted, it has been 8 hours, so it is it is looking pretty good considering it's 10 p.m., um, so yeah, I do really, really like this foundation. I don't know if I'm going to be like, oh my God, run to the store and buy it just because it is so freaking expensive. But if you're looking for a luxury product and if you can afford it, and if you want to try a new foundation, this is a really, really good one. I do really, really like it. I am going to wear it more. I'm not going to return it. I decided I'm going to hang on to it. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think this might be like a good winter foundation for me. I don't know if this is meant for North Carolina summers, but I think this would be a really, really pretty winter foundation. Um, maybe when I'm not outside as much and not like sweating, you know? I think I look a little bit dewier on camera than I do in person just because my lights and stuff, I look pretty shiny. So if you've tried this, let me know your thoughts down below or if you want to try it, keep me posted on how it works out for you. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and going through this little foundation journey with me. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up down below for more foundation wear tests. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and click the little bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I will see you in my next video. Good night. <laughs>